Hello everyone, apologies for the earlier version. So let's take a look at this question. Andy left school A and walked towards school B at a speed of 90 meters per minute. At the same time, Benny and Calvin started from school B and walked towards school A at a speed of 85 meters per minute and 70 meters per minute respectively. The three boys did not change their speed throughout their journeys. Given that Andy met Calvin three minutes after passing Benny, what was the difference between school A and school B? So just begin with, let's start off with drawing the distance line and labeling your destinations, school A and school B. We know that Andy started from school A and for Benny and Calvin, they started from school B. All right, so we were told that um, Andy met Calvin three minutes after passing Benny. Andy would meet Benny first because Benny was faster than Calvin. So at this point in time when they, when Andy met Benny, okay, this is the distance covered by Andy, and this is the distance covered by Benny. And when you add up these two distances, it's basically our distance between the two schools, right? And then, okay, we have another piece of information too. As you can see, Calvin was lower than Benny, was behind him. And this is the difference in distance between Benny and Calvin when Andy met Benny. Okay? So let's move on and imagine right now that is three minutes later when Andy met Calvin. So this is where they would be. And you can see that again, this is the distance covered by Andy and this is the distance covered by Calvin. And when you add up these two distances, again is the difference in distance between Benny and Calvin. Right? So the next question, are you able to work out this distance? I think we, we could, right? Because we do know that it took them three minutes, okay, to meet each other. So I can take the combined speed of Andy and Calvin and multiply by three. That will give us the distance of 480 meters. So Calvin was 480 meters behind Benny when Andy met Benny. Okay, so let's move back in time when this happened. Okay, when Andy met Benny, this is the point in time, and there we were told that Calvin was 480 meters behind Benny. And we know the, speed, the difference in speed between Benny and Calvin is 15 meters per minute. So meaning to say that for every one minute, Benny would have covered a longer distance of 15 meters. So how long does it take for Benny to cover a longer distance of 480 meters than that of Calvin? Easy, you would just take the number sentence 480 meters divided by the difference in speed. And that will give you 32 minutes. So it was from the moment they started walking. So 32 minutes later, Andy met Benny. So as I said, just highlighted, we can take the combined speed of Andy and Benny and multiply by. 32. That will give us the distance between school A and school B. Alternatively, you can use the point in time when Andy met Calvin to check your work. But that would be 3 minutes later, which is 35 minutes. So, we just the combined speed of Andy and Calvin multiplied by 35. That will give you the same answer. 5,600 meters. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope that if you find this video beneficial please give it a like. 
um, that is one of the uh, ways to encourage us to continue doing something like that. Yeah, I, oh, I, I hope you enjoyed and that's it. Um, goodbye. <laughs>